<laughs> My head stuck. Ow. What's going on guys? Chris Rodnick here and today is the startup of the Rice from Miata. I'm really, really excited about it. But before I do that, I need to install this. This is your, pretty much what this does is it makes it so you don't have to press in the clutch when you start it because um, this new hefty clutch I got, you don't want to ruin any thrust bearings or anything. So, well, we're just going to do it this way, dude, because I have it. Okay. It's just as easy as putting this thing on, but if you're fat, it's not easy. All right, guys, so we just installed the neutral safety switch. I don't know if you can tell, the last scene was with the GoPro. This is actually with my Sony 6500. I was on Amazon like a few days ago and I found this Rokon. Rokonon. Rokonon 12 millimeter lens. It's kind of like a kind of a wide angle, a little bit of fisheye, whatever. Don't like it, it doesn't have autofocus, it's kind of junk. Like Chris, I'm literally watching Chris sit there and going like this a little bit and it's shitty. I'm gonna return it. So we're gonna go back to the GoPro for a few days for sure. I think I'm just gonna cough up and get that $800 lens. It's so nice. And if I get the warranty, then yep. I can smash it and say, sorry, I smashed it and they'll give me a new one. Okay. Either way, this thing I think is ready to start. The only thing ghetto about it is um, I don't have the rubber seal for the PCV valve. So I, don't, I can't put the PCV valve in and I don't want it to spray oil over the nice engine bay. So we got a paper towel there. We're not gonna rev it or anything. First things first is I just want to build some oil pressure. The cam angle sensor is unplugged, so the car is not going to start. All I want to do is hear this thing crank, do it for like five seconds, let it rest, do it for five seconds, let it rest, and just kind of keep building it up until I feel like I'm confident enough that I can start this pig. We're going to have a little bit of a vacuum leak right here. Other than that, I don't have a vacuum block off there. Who gives a damn? We're not driving the car right now. And um, let's do it. Dude. Fuel pumps on. I see the oil pressure gauge. I don't have to push in the clutch or anything. You think it's gonna crank for a try? I mean, I mean crank, crank, yeah. That. It freaking better. I have looked over this thing a hundred times. We got the ground strap, we got everything. Yep. Prime it first. My heart's racing. Then we'll hook it up. Yeah, I'm gonna prime it one more time. Did we check for fuel leaks on the injectors? Yo, James, got a fuel leak over there? Bro, it's everywhere now. <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Should do it? Let's go. gauge doesn't work until the car is on I guess it shows zero right now but when you're cranking it, it just shuts off oh. I don't know if that's normal I've never like checked oil pressure that's when I was yeah, cranking yeah, before yeah. Yeah. but no matter what like it should be making oil pressure okay. there's there no sense it wouldn't be because if the cranks moving and the oil pumps moving everything's moving two more times. yeah two more times and we'll plug it in let's do it again Let us sit here for 10 seconds, give the starter a break real quick. I don't know, that sounds pretty healthy. I'm pretty right. happy about that. Yeah, nice and clean, no bumps. No bumps, no knock yet. Yeah. No knock. All right. That engine's not moving right now. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. All right, James, plug her in, dude. Plug the cam angle in. I know the cam angle looks a little wonky. Now we're about to find out if the cam angle sensor put it in right. If I did, we're gonna have a big problem getting that thing out. You think so? I hope not. I kind of just put it in and hope for the, you got a 50-50 chance and <laughs> knowing me, I don't. You're good? We're good. Dude. You sure? Yeah, it's in. Hold You're on. positive everything's good over there? She's a little crooked, but it's in. Yeah, I, it's gonna be It's, crooked. yeah, the, dude. Go for it. Problem number one. I, I think, well, it, it's a new motor. I don't know. I, I guess we're just going to let it run a little bit. Yeah, more. okay. we got to keep going. Yeah, right. No spark. Getting some turbo movement, that's kind of nice. He's not even trying to puff right now. Okay, hold on. No, there's no ignition. You have, I think that's There's a possibility the coil pack's not even plugged in, dude. Oh. Uh, I smell fuel. We're what does fuel. the black wire go to? Coil? 
what, let me see, what flash wire? No, that's on um, Y-band. Okay. Yeah. And this goes yeah. with the clip facing this way? Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure. Did I you check the, if the um, coil packs are plugged in? Uh, sure. I believe it's two plugs on this. That's even further down. I pushed it even further down. All right, let's just try again for fun. Yeah. Go ahead. Wah, wah, wah. We'll be right back. All right, so first thing, obviously, you want to check for sparks. So James is over there with just a used spark plug, and um, let's see if we see lights. Nothing, huh, nope. James? Nope. She's Perfect. dead. That's a good start. Yeah, right. yeah. It's so, awesome. We'll to check the coil connections. Actually, fuses. Right. Yeah, I mean, there, there also could be something I've missed, for sure. I mean, the whole thing was freaking apart. I mean, hey. I didn't plug this relay in, but I thought it was just for the lights, so I'll plug that in. Hey. If I find it. It's on your stubby. Yeah, no, I found that. Dude. <laughs> dude, this could be it. I don't know. I mean, I think it's for the lights, but... Uh. <laughs> plug it in and try again, I guess. She's getting fuel, that's for damn sure. It almost smells like it's fucking leaking. Well, it's full of fuel now in the cylinders. Yeah. It'll be all fucking flooded. Which one's the... I hope you're right back again. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> Round three. All right, well, we've been chasing a bunch of wires. We um, plugged in James's computer. Um, we tried to crank it to make sure we had RPM to make sure the cam angle sensor was good and everything. Everything was fine. Um, we started doing a bunch of tests and I was just going over to um, Mark's engine bay just to look at stuff because his st is still apart and like you can see wires easily and I noticed he had this and I was like James dude I didn't strap this to the car you think this matters he's like well you see all those black the, you see all these black wires those are grounds and I'm like all right well let's bolt it up we haven't tried to start it yet we just got that bolted up it's actually back here you can't really see it but who cares I'm feeling confident. If it doesn't start, I'm going to be real let down right now. I can't even lie. Moment of truth. You ready? Ready. Let's check for spark. I'm a little let down right now. That, that was really high hopes right Round there. Round four. Jesus Christ, dude. Damn it. Still nothing, huh? She's dead. Damn, dude. That was... That was it right there. That was the money shot. Yeah. So the cam angle's good. We've che we've checked every single ground with a continuity test. Anyone else got any guesses here? <laughs> I'm pretty out of them. Ah! Next. All right. So we keep running into some problems. We we've tested just about everything to this point, and uh, we went as far as actually unplugging the coil packs and checking the plugs themselves to making sure they have um, 12 volts and everything, and they do, but as soon as you plug the plug into the coil pack, these get no spark whatsoever. So we can only assume that the coil, the, the coil packs are bad. I actually have someone that is interested in selling coil unplug, like a whole conversion kit, and I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting on pictures of that. If, if the pictures come back good and everything's good in the neighborhood, I'm gonna give them the hundred bucks. We're gonna do the coil unplug conversion because that's better anyways. And hopefully this thing starts. I don't really know what else it could be. But in the meantime, there's still some stuff we need to do. I'm gonna learn how to TIG weld tonight because my friend James um, brought a TIG welder here. James is pretty good at TIG welding and he's gonna kind of teach me the ropes. So we're gonna take this off because if you come over here, I'm gonna de delete my blow off. One, I hate the sound of it. Two, I know that's gonna make Sam happy. And three, um, where I put this was kind of in the way. So I'm like, you know what? I hated the sound of this anyway, so I'm just gonna delete it. And turbo flutter is cool. And so Sam says, I don't know if this is true, but he says like, turbos are so advanced now that turbo flutter doesn't hurt turbos anymore. Don't know if that's true. Honestly, don't even really care at the end of the day. So we're just gonna chop this off right here, weld this shut and we're gonna be good to go. Let's do it. This kind of just heats up the metal and then you... Yeah, you're just stitching it. Dude, this thing is so slow. I couldn't... All right, I'm just gonna wing it. Go for it. Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm 
terrible at this. <laughs> Alright, I'm going again. That doesn't look awful. You don't think so? Oh no. It looks your, like a fucking popping shark. The, popping the cherry. Yeah. Looks like a shark. Yeah. Dude. Well, there's B, there's connection happening. Oh, you wait a long time. I suck at this. Dude, <laughs> all right, hold on. Oh God, it's not, it's not terrible. No, it's not. It's coil packs. That's not terrible. Yo, I guess I'll do the hard part here. Just cutting this, you know? Yeah. The, the, the real hard <laughs> Just cause I'm such a butthurt, dude, get your hat. Just gonna cut this, Walker, you ready for this? Rip it. This good old table from Harbor Freight. Don't yeah. get this shit. Don't buy this. What table. a hunk of junk this thing is. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, James. I'm gonna go get mine. What is that? My, mine's stronger. Way better this thing Jeez. is. Dude, Milwaukee over Iobi, come on. That don't lie right there, Done dude. deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, six shooter. COVID. All right, Fish Nick, I'll see you later, man. We're gonna go try to get the rice me on start. You wanna come with us? You wanna come, buddy? Oh, look, they're a cute, happy family. Fish Nick is part of the vlog now. Look at you. Hell yeah. See you later. The only time this dude calls me this late at night, 1045 is when he's drunk. What's up, dude? R and R. What the fuck? Dude, you're drinking. It's you're yeah. drinking. But I'm not drunk. Oh, so you are drinking. I am drinking. Dude, you only ever call me this late if you've been drinking. <laughs> you know I'm right. <laughs> So people are saying don't use full synthetic. I actually looked it up and they said like most oils nowadays has synthetic in it no matter what. But it does say you should use conventional but nowadays it doesn't really matter. But I'm just gonna use conventional just to be safe. That's what the comments say. So listen to the comments. Um, Will came and the coil pack conversion was for like a 96 or 97 wiring harness. And I have a 95 so they didn't work. Am I good? And um, I didn't want to cut up my harness because we don't know if that's like the problem for 100%. Even though the coil packs are cracked. I guess we're just going to go to AutoZone. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to go to AutoZone tomorrow. And if that works, then I'll go to Treasure Coast on Monday. And I don't know. We can't do anything tonight, which sucks. Every time Matt comes, there's always a stupid idea involved. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. Dude, you ready for this? Hold on. Look at this guy putting his gum on my brand new paint, dude. It's fine, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. No, well, careful. Well, something I need the claw, dude. It's all about the claws, right? That's it, dude. That's it. Claw life. Dude, no funnel gang? Wow. Dang, that's not bad. Oh, oh my oh. God. Not to mention it's his second shotgun within five minutes. Yeah, his. Yeah. All right, dude. I'll hold it high. Well, Just go for it, dude. <laughs> all the way back, all the way back, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. It, dude. We're about to use oh this for the car. Oh my god. That wow. was pretty impressive. Hell yeah. Now Nat clawed off the piece from the car. It'll be on there forever. That's it. Yeah. The rice miata's gonna have a little bit of Nat in its life. Yeah, yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's I love it. that. Drinking a Rona. Marcus, <laughs> Marcus is waiting. This dude just had two full chugs and he's already drinking a Rona. I thought Marcus had it. With the Cheers, double mate. Ronas. Dude, nice. you ain't gonna tell you the whole thing right no now. No way. No way. No way. He's gonna back down for sure. No, he's not. He's gonna back down. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was a that, That's a full road. You want your hydro welded in or not? Yeah, yeah. True. He's <laughs> welded. Yeah, he's yeah, welded. yeah. No fires tonight.
We're trying to weld this uh, here hydro hydraulic e brake into the car, but you know. <laughs> All right, Marcus Parks is working on the brake. Cooling lines are getting cut over here. Progress. We're trying, dude. We are the trying. The car's gonna be done before it even starts. Yep. This is gonna get a little ghetto on the face. Terrible. Is that the keep side? This is the keep side. All right. All right. Let's run it. See if it works. Okay. I'm, I'm covering the weld. I'm gonna look at the weld. Oh! Well, Eyes on Marcus. You don't don't scare me like that, dude. But the car is on fire. Can I get the air gun right there? He's staying clean. Thank you, sir. Okay. Ooh. Oh. I was expecting my, oh, it smells bad. Dude. Does it? Yeah. Like claw? Not claw. Oh. You think I'll make look fatter than I already am? Let me see. No. Oh, good. Dude. You're already, Invention, you're already... hold on. Oh, here we go. Dude, <laughs> this is honestly awesome. Wow. What's that smell? Dude, Swamp Ass 3000? Yeah, well, How to get rid of Swamp Ass? I smelled Doritos, but like Doritos that were left out for a while. Hit me, dude. Oh, Nat's got the... Oh, oh my oh. dude! Wow. This is amazing! Whoever touched this might get pink eye, but... <laughs> God, that was... Dude, that made my ass like wet. That's what I mean. So she's getting there, bud. Dude, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. I'm pretty excited. Like, we didn't even have to cut this. I was able to just slip it on with manpower. Manpower. So I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah. But, I mean... Realistically, by the end of the night, I mean, we can we can have everything done besides no star. Besides missing something right there. Yeah. It really sucks that that was for like a different year wiring harness. Yeah. I mean, given we probably could have made it work. There's a lot of super Let's go coil pack. Wow. Coil pack is very big for coil pack. That is a lot of smoke. <laughs> Wow, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, dude, it's smoking like crazy up here, bro. Well, at least the no ignition is allowing us to get the coolant line on back here. Oh, dude, I don't know how we would have got this on. I gotta loosen this a tiny bit. We also got this sick Mac valve ready to wire. Electronic boost control in the Ricer Miata. What? Pin number seven on the Mega Squirt. If Pin number seven. Say Boost control, pin number seven. Yep. Dude, look, we're going so legit, we got the fucking Bible out. Paperwork. We bought a house, dude. <laughs> 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 That's a house. <laughs> well, Team No Sleep is back at it again. It's 2.30 in the morning. Literally just about to leave, and I was taking a piss in the bathroom. Screw you guys. And <laughs> Mark is, I almost called him Brett. Mark's a little sad, he was ready to leave too. But um, I was taking a piss, and I saw in the corner of my eye an injector harness. I'm like, oh, if there's an injector harness, there must be coil packs. Well, I dig into this box, coil packs, right there. We're just gonna try it. If it doesn't start, we're gonna pop one out. We're gonna check for spark and everything. And we're just gonna do the whole thing over again. I put the fully synthetic back in. I actually called Sam and I did some research on the internet. I mean, what the internet says is like, yeah, you should have like braking oil and everything, but at this point in the game, it, it, does, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go with the internet. I mean, I only read two comments that are like, oh, you're gonna blow your shit up. So if I blow it up, I just kill myself and there's no more YouTube. I don't care. Whatever. Nervous. All right, we Cam got- Cam angle is 180 out. Wow! Wow. That, wow! That was an explosion. Wow! Dude, and I jumped. Dude, we gotta take that cam angle out. How do you do that? Fuck, dude! You get a 50-50 chance, and I fucked it! That sucks. Woo! But at least we got it ignition. It was a coil pack. Yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah, we hey, got ignition. Well, now you know what it was. Dude, we're motivated That was, now. A, little, that was yeah. a little motivation right there for me. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to see. It says two things. 
to like a huge fucking point. yeah. Definitely it scared me. Degrees out. It scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, like yeah. I'm still feeling. I it. cannot. That was so loud. That was loud. I cannot believe I had a fifty fifty chance with that stupid thing, and it's backwards. Okay. Unless those plugs are backwards, no? no. Could the coil packs no, be backwards? No, no, it's a hundred. I mean, like, did you? We have, no, that wouldn't have done it. Like, it just won't start or run like poopy. You sure? Th that popping is 100% the cam angle. Okay. 1,000. 1 million. 1 trillion. Let's move the block, dude. Yo, let's take the engine out, dude. Yeah, no, 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 no. Can let's just move up. the block of wood over. Can you hold that? <laughs> I'm about to go get an Arizona, dude. Yeah, Arizona. <laughs> I'll split it with you. Fuck it. Dude, I'm kind of down. It's a lot of calories, though. Now it's making fun of the beer or... guy. No, the bang is awful. No, no, no. I'm never having a bang. Bang is done. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. All, All right, right, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'll be here. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm going to drive this home. That's yeah. See ya. We got no rear shocks. No, he got me there. Yeah, yeah no. No rear shocks. No rear shocks. Well, that I can make happen. All right. Dude, I'm really excited, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm really pissed that this is 180 I can't out. believe I've been sitting here for this many hours doing scooter tricks when <laughs> all you had to do is go to the bathroom. <laughs> so ridiculous. Dude, like I say, I have everything. You just gotta find it. Yeah. That's it. Man. All right, well, it's back in. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, it still might be 180 degrees out. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, when I first took it out, I was trying to like get it out of the car and I couldn't really get it. I didn't want to scratch like the firewall or anything. And like I was moving it all around and I twisted it and I moved it all around again, twisted a little more. 50-50 chance. If it pops again, don't jump. Okay, no, <laughs> yeah, we just played back the clip and it was I, loud, the dude, camera almost stuck. fell out of my hand. Yeah, you can get closer, dude. It's okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Should we get the fire extinguisher? Oh, uh, no, we don't need all that. Dude, this is sketch, dude. It's either going to fucking start up or it's going to blow up again. Right. I don't like that. I don't think that's good. No, no, it's... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, you ready? Uh, not to mention we had a bunch of fuel in there from all the priming before, unless it evaporated. True. So maybe we won't get as big of a pop. All right, ready? Roger. Dude! That was a it crank. It turned over! That was a crank. Dude, that, that was a little puffer, dude. Yeah. Fuck. I'm like shitting my pants over here. Yeah, don't worry. I'm standing next to it. <laughs> dude! All right. I'm not sure about the wires on the coil pack, by You're the way. You're not positive? How would I know how they go? Well, it was no, on No, no, those are fine, but the clips that are firing the coils. Those two wires that are firing each coil pack. We don't know oh, oh, oh. if these are on the right side, which... Yeah, we, we don't which we, we don't know for a fact that if that matters, but we're, we'll just switch it. I don't okay, know. yeah, let's switch it, because it was... Anything is something, you know? Yeah, yeah, flip those around. We, we might be looking like idiots right now, but we're trying, okay? Yeah, it's 3 a.m. Give us a break. We're close, but no cigar yet. Right, especially if you think about the way it comes back. Those, yeah. Those kind of line up better that way. We'll I'm down to try anything. Again. Yeah, like, let's try we've it. We've been trying this for four hours. Right. Okay, here okay. we go. Yep. Ooh, that was a good one. I mean... That was a good one. I Can heard, we talk about it for a second? I, heard, yeah. I don't want to start it again. <laughs> <laughs> Still oh. shitting my pants over here. Oh my god, yeah. bro! Oh Look my god! Eyes, baby. Oh my yeah. god! She's a little rough. She's a little rough. She's well, a little rough. So, keep in mind, these were Brett's coil packs. He stole my coil. Okay, so this is the story. Brett had bad coil packs. Brett stole my good coil packs out of this car with the other engine and never put my car back together. Right. Treasure Coast was nice enough when Sam went to give me some coil packs that were just there on one of like their parts cars. I didn't know if it ran or not, whatever, but they were nice enough just to give them to me. They're expensive coil packs. Cool. Big shout to Treasure Coast. They weren't working, which is fine because they were free and they was just going on a limb. And now these are Brett's 
bad coil packs. Right. So like he was misfiring with these, so yep. we're gonna misfire as well. Okay. But good news is we know the coil packs are bad. Yep. We know what we have to do. And the fucking car started. And it did start. It's it was running. And we Oh, we do got something on the ground right there. A little leak. <sighs> That could have been from... Yeah, I mean, it's right... I probably spilled it. Yeah. Oh, that's maybe when you drained it. Yeah, it's probably when I drained it, because it's right under it. Right. So that's that's whatever. I can... Yeah. Right. No, I mean, I probably didn't tighten it. Let's check. Oh. I got a lift, and I'm laying on the ground. That's how excited I am. You got No, this. that shit's tight. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about that too no, much. No, I think that's just from when you drained it. It's smoking, though. Well, it's a smoky girl. New build. I don't know what to do at this point because, like, I've never had a bill engine. Right. So it's like, all right, it starts. Now what? What do we do now? Right. We keep running it. We fill it up with fucking coolant. She was shaky. I don't know that we, if running it's a great idea yeah. until getting a new set of packs. Yeah, I want to get a new set of packs, talk to Jack and everything, see where he's at with all this chaos, and finish the hydro, bleed the brakes, do all that stuff. Get it to like a running stand, like running point. Yeah. Because right now, once again, the engine bay looks like dickweed. I'm stoked that the 50 50 chance worked the second time. Right, right, you know? right, right. So I'm happy about Dude, I'm pumped, dude. Fucking third gear Bernie's coming real soon. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. We heard it run. Dude, I'm going to take my mom for a ride in this, and she is, I swear to God, she's going to cry. I'm going to make my mom cry okay. 100%. Do it. She's, she's not about it right now, but I'm going to con her with like, Hey mom, like I don't want a birthday present. Just come for a ride. We're gonna do it a little smooth. Dude, we're nice. gonna go to Yukon and I'm fucking scratch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Show her what Excited. a lock diff does. Dude, I don't know. I mean, one more little start or not even? Just to see if it does. Just one more. Just let's, one more little. Check the oil because now it's yeah, like. Yeah, check the oil. Get your junk merch. Junk merch, junkforless.net. Make sure everything is tight here. Oh, we're money, dude. Yeah? We're money. Okay. Dang, dude, this whole time we had bad coil packs, dude. I'm about to deal with all my engine. Yeah, we were definitely sitting here for a while. You ready? You ready? He's a little rough. Yeah, I know. But it runs. It's running. Oh, we got a bad I don't know. I plugged. I plugged the one. Yeah, but you can hear it. Oh. You can definitely I, I hear I that. This one here. Aids mobile. Okay. But yeah, man. I mean, I'm not complaining for that. Whatever. I mean, it cranked. To be honest, I was pretty bummed because like there was hype. There was so much hype last video, and like everyone was so pissed that like the car wasn't running and everything. Yeah. And it's like, Tonight the car wasn't running, so what was I gonna do? Like, well, how was I gonna name this video or anything? Right. But it's running. First start. Clickbait's there. We First got start. it. We got the clickbait. But uh, fuck. A tenth of a heat cycle down. One tenth. We're mo we're moving forward in the right direction, kind of. We just need new Chinese coil packs from AutoZone. Sick. We're gonna be good to go. So we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. All right. So it is the next day. I got some pretty bad news. Um, right now I'm just trying to clean up some wiring and stuff, cut in my hand, you know, blood, sweat, and not tears yet, sadly. But um, called around today about AutoZones, O'Reilly's, whatever, all of those stupid places, and they want 260 a coil pack. So on, on this, there's two different sets of coil packs. We got 260 here and then 260 there. So it's gonna be over 500 bucks. And they don't even have them in stock. Even if I wanted to do that, they don't have them. It's a Duralast product, probably not gonna last forever. Um, I hit up Octavio, sadly he's out of town for the weekend, so is I can't actually drive this thing until Monday. But good news is we have like a ton of things that we just need to like clean up, figure out. Marcus is finishing the hydro today. Once Marcus is done finishing the hydro, we can bleed the brakes, I'll bleed the clutch, and kind of just tidy up the engine bay. So come Monday, all we have to do, which is my birthday on Monday, um, I gotta drive the treasure coast, we gotta get the um, coil packs, and then, I mean, hypothetically, we all we have to do is put the coil packs in, bleed the cooling system, and we can actually go for our first drive for sure. I decided not to bring my radiator to Harvey. I thought we were gonna have to aim this down, but I bought this little um, tube 
from AutoZone and it actually fits literally perfect. Like if it was designed any different way, it, it's not kinked or anything, it just flows. So it works. We're gonna be using this, which I'm not pumped because it's blue, but we're gonna be using this one right here for, to get all my coolant temps and stuff on the AEM gauge. And yeah, man, we're just trying to clean up this side. I mean, this side is fine. The heat shield's gonna be right here. It's gonna look all nice. This side is just wiring, wiring, relay, relay, fuse block, E85 flex fuel sensor, this coolant thing that doesn't even work and still waiting on my new one. And yeah, we still have a lot to do. So although it sucks, we can't drive this until Monday. Um, at least we know that everything's gonna be right and perfect on Monday for that to happen. So we're just gonna put the camera down for a few hours, grind some stuff out, fix up um, some kinks, and we'll talk to you later. Okay, boys and girls, well, it has been a few hours and we've, we've made some progress. I changed the um, coolant reservoir to just the stock one for now because that one doesn't really work. They came back, you guys already know that whole thing. Bolt the back, the fuse block. We um, installed the wiper motor while I was doing that. Chris actually ran the wire for the Mac valve. You can see it in the corner, it goes over there. We just have to like plug that all into the ECU and stuff. James has been doing some TIG weld for a different build that you guys will see when I come back from Connecticut, which is gonna be super, super sick. And Marcus, finished the hydro he's on the phone right now but pretty much the hydro is gonna sit right there we just have to put the um tombstone back in and everything bleed this and we're gonna be good to go dude i'm stoked how it came out i'm really happy oh did you figure out if the radio is gonna work that one will that radio will work okay cool because um this radio is actually out of the roadster but it's like half this size the problem we were having is like it was hitting the bottom well right here yeah, I was hitting the bottom right there. You so, it's uh, a lot of wiring involved now. What, for this? Yeah. Why? Because, oh, they're different plugs? What a freaking nightmare. I hate that. But that's not too big of a deal. I think we're actually going to end the video right here. Um, this video is long and we got it to start. I know you guys were really upset with me yesterday, but like content's content. You got to do what you got to do. And uh, it's, sponsored by Bud Light. it's not sponsored by Bud Light. If you want to pay me, go ahead. But I, it's spon I would love to be sponsored by Claws. I hate beer. I don't drink beer other than Oktoberfest because it's a once in a lifetime thing. Anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Don't forget to go down in the description below and get your junk merch. And other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. And uh, Monday, we're going to be ripping. Hold on, the video's over, but what did you just ask James? Because it's funny. I'm drinking a Bud Light and I'm looking at it. <laughs> he, what, why is he not wearing any shoes when he's welding? <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't wear sneakers. That's not a thing for James. No, no, unless he has to go to work. I yeah. already asked him this. Yeah. <laughs> so you only have sneakers for work. <laughs> Other than that, dude, he's like the have you ever seen Man vs. Wild, the dude that just is barefoot all the time? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's you, dude. No, no welding gloves. No, welding no nothing. Jacket. No welding pants and definitely no shoes. <laughs> no shoes. That's great. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>